Number 5. Zinc Polaroid Zip The Polaroid Zip is a small box slightly larger than a deck of playing cards, just under an inch thick, or 2.5 centimetres, and weighs 186 grams, or 6.6 ounces, and it's a photo printer. The only button is for power, and the only port is micro USB for charging. The battery is built in and it lasts for about 25 prints, which means for a long event like a wedding, you might have to plug it in to keep the prints coming. The top slides off a little too easily, I might add, revealing a compartment that holds 10 sheets of paper. The printer uses Polaroid Zinc Zero Ink printing technology, which uses special zinc paper embedded with cyan, yellow and magenta dye crystals. The crystals start off colourless, but as the print is being made, heat activates the crystals, changing them into the appropriate colours. Your phone or tablet connects to the zip over Bluetooth. Using an iOS device, you can just go into the settings, hit Bluetooth and select the printer. If you have an Android device with Near Field Communication or NFC, you can simply tap your device to the top of the zip and it'll start the connection and launch the zip app. With the app, you can pull photos straight from your device's gallery or launch your camera to take a fresh shot. There are some basic editing options including filters, frames, stamps and stickers, and you can add text or draw on the photos. Along with regular prints, you can create basic photo ID cards and make mini collages. You can also make private edits to a picture that are only revealed by scanning a QR code printed on the original image. The photo will then be printed with a QR code, which when scanned with the app, you'll be able to play the attached audio. Simple and fun to use, the Polaroid Zip is a great little accessory for freeing your photos from your smartphone. It's not a device everyone will have a use for, but if you can already imagine plastering your stuff with small prints of your friends and family and pets, then this one is for you. Number 4. Canon Selfie CP1300 Printing images from your smart device or computer is quick and easy with the Canon Selfie CP1300 printer. This compact printer isn't quite as portable as some of the pocket-sized models on the market, but print quality is generally better. And the Selfie CP1300's features, including multiple connectivity options, provide versatility while maintaining ease of use. Measuring 5.4 by 7.2 by 2.5 inches, excluding the paper tray, the Canon Selfie CP1300 is the perfect size for a crowded desk, small apartment or dorm room. The printer body, which is mostly plastic, weighs 1.9 pounds, but despite its light weight, there's no carry handle and you'll need to purchase the optional battery for an additional cost if you want true portability. The printer and paper tray can fit in a messenger bag along with its AC adapter if you want to bring it along to a party or family event where there's an electrical outlet nearby. The paper cassette that's bundled with the printer accommodates a 4 by 6 inch paper, which is the size of the final print after the perforated top and bottom edges are detached. Overall print quality from the Canon Selfie CP1300 is very good. Colours are, for the most part, rich and accurately produced. Some of the test prints look better than many we've seen from the do-it-yourself kiosks in local stores. A single print generally takes less than a minute. That's a pretty decent speed considering the paper needs to complete four passes – yellow, magenta, cyan and finishing coat. The printer's a little noisy as it goes through its paces, but not overly so. Where things slow down a bit is on screen when you're making adjustments or scrolling through images. The Canon Selfie CP1300 produces some of the best prints we've seen from compact or portable printers. Combined with its ease of use and variety of features, anyone who wants hard copies of their photos to share, display or put in an album will appreciate the CP1300's prints. Number 3. Epson Workforce WF100 Despite near-ubiquitous mobility among business professionals, there are still aspects of the professional world that are still stationary, like printers. Epson decided by their own words to expand the portfolio of business printing solutions by creating the Epson Workforce WF100, the world's lightest and smallest mobile printer. Epson designed the Workforce WF100 printer with a professional in mind, as the Workforce WF100 comes with built-in wireless connectivity, Wi-Fi Direct and an integrated rechargeable lithium-ion battery that allows you to print at any time, anywhere. The Workforce WF100 weighs 3.5 pounds or 1.59 kilograms and the dimensions are 12.2 by 9.1 by 8.5 inches or 30.99 by 23.11 by 21.59 centimeters in the printing state. And in its storage setting, it's 12.2 by 6.1 by 2.4 inches or 30.99 by 15.49 by 6.1 centimeters. 
Built into this compact size is a micro USB and an AC port. Charging on this device is simple. The AC adapter provides 100 to 240 volts, whereas the USB adapter provides 5 volts. Setting this printer up via USB is traditionally simple and straightforward. Setting up the Workforce WF100 printer up via Wi-Fi is similarly simple, with a few minor drawbacks. To connect the printer to an existing Wi-Fi access point, say your home router, the WF100 will scan existing Wi-Fi access points. Printing to this printer with basic print jobs, text, resumes, articles on the web, very easy. Hit print, choose the Epson Workforce WF100 option, and that's it. Printing in colour is just as easy, though it does slow the print job up quite noticeably. The Epson Workforce WF100 is perfect for the user who travels or even for the space-conscious or low-printing consumer. The built-in Wi-Fi makes it easy to print on multiple devices, and the built-in rechargeable battery is very impressive. Number 2. Canon PIXMA IP110 Mobile business printers are more popular than you would think. Mobile photo printers, not so much. Why? Well, it's because mobile photo printers aren't suited to a lot of people. Both of them are strictly niche categories, which means that only a few types of people would find them really useful. In fact, the entire concept of a mobile photo printer sounds a lot like a public relations gimmick and counterproductive. After all, mobile printing is something that you would think is most required by businessmen and professionals on the move. It doesn't matter though, Canon is the master brand for photo printing, so it's only logical for them to come up with a photo version of a new market segment. We haven't reviewed mobile photo printers before, but we have reviewed other printer models with the same printing technology from this Original Equipment Manufacturer, or OEM. If you were to evaluate the output quality of other mobile printing devices in the market, you'll find that they perform much better with text and documents than photos. The logic is that there just isn't any need for mobile printers to be good at printing photos. If you print text with this device, the best you can hope for is laser quality. This device prints photos so exceptionally on the back of its maximum printing resolution of 9600 by 2400 dots per inch. The Canon PIXMA IP110 is not meant for heavy volume printing, this is evident in a number of its features. However, these features can also be seen as limitations of this device. The first of these is the paper handling capacity of the device. The print speed of this device is decidedly mediocre and at par with other devices in the market. The device is rated to produce 20 monochrome pages per minute (ppm), while the print speed goes down to 14 pages per minute for colour prints. The Canon PIXMA IP10 offers typical speed for a portable inkjet printer and suitable paper handling, plus unusually good photo quality and the ability to connect directly to laptops or mobile devices wirelessly. Number 1. HP OfficeJet 250 the HP OfficeJet 250 mobile all-in-one printer is an inkjet that's light enough to travel with, but can copy and scan as well as print. All-in-one printers need not be cumbersome devices yoked to a desktop or consigned to a table of their own. The HP OfficeJet 250 mobile all-in-one printer can print, copy and scan, yet is compact and light enough to fit into a travel bag and be lugged around with a minimum of strain. With its cover closed, the OfficeJet 250 measures 3.6 by 15 by 7.8 inches and it expands to 10.6 by 15 by 15.8 inches when the rear paper feeder and the front-facing automatic document feeder, or ADF, are extended. The OfficeJet 250 weighs 6.5 pounds or 6.7 pounds with its included battery in place, nearly 2 pounds heavier than the OfficeJet 200, which was 4.6 pounds and 4.9 with the battery included, and also only measured 2.7 by 14.3 by 7 inches. The addition of the copier and scanner clearly increases the OfficeJet 250 size and weight over a single functional mobile inkjet, but not outrageously so. The OfficeJet 250's print quality is slightly above par for an inkjet, with average text and slightly above par graphics and photos. Text should be good enough for any use short of those requiring very small fonts. Be sure not to let the output fall into a basket when printing, as the ink is more smudge prone than usual when wet. Mobile printing is not cheap, and the OfficeJet 250's running costs are typical of portable inkjets, 6 cents per black page and 15.6 cents per colour page. These match the running cost of the OfficeJet 200. The printer uses two cartridges, one for black ink and one tricolour, yellow, cyan and magenta. Not everyone needs to both print and scan while on the road, but if you do, you don't need to lug separate devices. The HP OfficeJet 250 mobile all-in-one printer can handle both these tasks and it can copy too. Output quality is better than you'll get from many desktop inkjets and should be fine for formal reports and even PowerPoint handouts. Buying guide. Firstly, print engine. 
One thing to consider when purchasing a multifunction machine is the device's print technology. Inkjet versus laser, that's the question. Inkjet printers have many advantages. Replacement cartridges are less expensive than lasers. Inkjet machines overall are typically priced less, and they usually have a much smaller desktop footprint. Inkjets also typically accommodate a wider variety of print media. Laser printers, however, have a few of their own advantages. Print quality is typically better and more consistent, and their prints over the long run are usually less expensive. This is because inkjet cartridge life is but a fraction of that for laser printers. Lasers are also quieter, but they're almost always larger than inkjet counterparts. Secondly, print resolution. When print quality is the first priority, pay special attention to the black and colour print resolutions that the multifunction machine produces. Print quality is typically measured in DPI. The higher the number, the better. Inexpensive inkjet printers typically produce 600x600 600 600 DPI black resolution, while other models produce even 1200x1200 1200 DPI. Inexpensive inkjet printers' colour capabilities, meanwhile, often start as high as 4800x1200 DPI. Entry-level laser printers' black print quality almost always outpaces that of the inkjet machines. Lasers usually produce 1200x1200 1200 DPI black resolution at a minimum. Laser printer colour quality can be misleading. While typically not as high as inkjet colour printing, laser systems' colour print resolutions of 1200x600 are common, which should prove acceptable for most corporate needs. When you're shopping for a specific model, almost all retailers can provide test samples for your review. And thirdly, functionality. Another question to ask when researching an all-in-one printer purchase is what functionality can the device provide? Besides serving as a printer, all-in-ones typically include scanning and copying capabilities and in some cases fax technologies. Manufacturers, of course, face relentless pricing pressures. To help maintain competitive price points, they must frequently sacrifice the quality of print and scan engines when including other capabilities, such as fax services, within a unit. Thus, you should also consider carefully those functions that the all-in-one must provide within your organisation.